Although Lewis Terman's work with giftedness has taught us a lot and helped us learn how to better accommodate gifted children, his intentions were much more controversial. He advocated for the educational segregation of minorities and believed that their breeding should be controlled. Lewis Terman was born in Johnson County, Indiana in 1877. He is widely regarded as the father of modern IQ testing. One of his most significant contributions to psychology were his revisions to the Binet-Simon intelligence scales, now called the Stanford Binet scale. The original purpose of the intelligence scale by Binet and Simon was to be able to identify and accurately diagnose children with learning disabilities in order to help them. Terman took the Binet-Simon scale and found that it had flaws because it didn't address higher mental level. To improve the scale, Terman took years studying and testing people of varying levels of intelligence, including children in schools, businessmen, unemployed men, and high school students. With the extensive testing, Terman used the term intelligent quotient, or IQ, to determine a scale of intelligence. The intelligence quotient was a scale that gave people intelligence based on their mental age, divided by their chronological age and multiplied by 100. A person who was normal for their age would have an IQ of 100 and was said to have a general intelligence. Anyone scoring below was considered to be feeble-minded, and anyone who scored significantly higher than 100 was considered gifted. This allowed for a standard scoring scale, which was used in schools to assess students' abilities. Terman's other major work, The Genetic Studies of Genius, is the oldest and longest-running longitudinal study in the field of psychology. It began in 1921 at Stanford University to scrutinize the characteristics of gifted children. Terman followed the lifestyle of 1,500 highly intellectual students between the ages of 3 and 19. He referred to these gifted children as termites, and the study was known as Terman's termites. These students were overwhelmingly white and upper class and from urban areas. This was a flawed study because it lacked diversity, not giving an accurate representation of society as a whole. Terman also believed that intelligence was genetic. In his book published in 1916, he wrote that high grade or borderline deficiency is very, very common among Spanish, Indian, and Mexican families of the Southwest, and also among Negroes. Their dullness seems to be racial, or at least inherent in the family stocks from which they come. Children of this group should be segregated into separate classes. They cannot master abstractions, but they can often be made into efficient workers. From a eugenic point of view, they constitute a grave problem because of their unusually prolific breeding. Early in his career, Terman was also a member of the Human Betterment Foundation, an organization dedicated to the support of forced sterilization. He stated that his main purpose when improving the Stanford Binet test was curtailing the reproduction of feeble-mindedness and in the elimination of enormous amount of crime, pauperism, and industrial inefficiency. Although Terman backed away from these beliefs later on in his life, he never, never publicly denounced or recanted them. 